this man about to soil himself as he's walking up to the plate, knowing what's coming up next. <laughs> oh, nah. Huey did not just jump 20 feet in the air for the self boot to gut check this old hag. Now listen, if you somehow, someway haven't seen the boondocks, give me a ring. Don't say anything, just give me a ring. This show was way ahead of its time. It had S tier comedy. What did you say, nigga? Slick animation, banger voice acting, and has influence over our generation to this day. Give that man everything I got. Pause. Pause? Pause what? Stink meaner, Uncle Ruckus, Huey, Gramps, the white boy you said the N-word. Nigga. And of course the best character, Riley Freeman. And pulling up in the gang's delicious skirt might be a top five episode of all time. Huh? That's right, I said it. But nah, today, I'm here to talk to y'all about the craziest game of kickball of all time. It really had Huey out here catching Kamehamehas. Shit was outrageous. Sega. The scene begins with these two old, wrinkled, big-eared, dentist scout, rich-ass old farts chopping it up, talking shit to each other. My kickball team is full of hitters this year, man. My granddaughter Ming gonna wipe the floor with y'all Yankee Doodle asses. Man, I'ma be honest, fuck you, your granddaughter, and your weak-ass squad. <laughs> Funny. How about instead of yapping your ass off, you give me and my boys our money on, huh? Oh? Uh -huh. can, can we handle this another way, you know, like men? Go on. How's that gambling addiction of yours? Hmm. Keep talking. It pans over to my dog, Huey, who's being pressed to join the kickball team. But he said he'd never play again if they're giving some little girl a severe limp. <laughs> like, what did he do? Axe kicker? <laughs> Ain't no way she got hit that bad. What the hell? <laughs> oh, nah. I'll be. That man ended her whole career. <laughs> Bro didn't like being laughed at so bad. He threw a 97 per hour change up and beamed her ass so hard she flew 10 feet back. What the fuck? Dang. Look at the wind up. This is attempted murder. She dented a metal fence. But yeah, ever since then, Huey hasn't played. He met me for good reason. He almost killed a girl. <laughs> he's out of line, but he's right. But Graham says he won't force him to play in the game. Cap. But then drags his black behind to the field anyway. <laughs> black grandparents. Gotta love them. Hashtag Black History Month. Hashtag I love being black. Hashtag Huey got hoed. The musty rich nigga starts explaining to Huey the origin of kickball. How his old man saw the OG Chinese players going crazy. Ugh, did he just hit four backflips to Mario jump and kick it back? Oh. My. God. Mama, look there at that man. that man. Basically, he brought it up to tell Huey the game's importance. But he does not give a fuck. Man, I ain't playing. It's because of your round ass that I gave a little girl a permanent limp. Oh, you mean this girl? G. Willikers. You told me she ain't with the Lord above? Nah, 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 nah. Nope. And she's break dancing? This man right here is evil. Scarring a 10 year old over kickball has got to be good enough to land you in an asylum. But knowing how good Huey is, he wants him on the team. Bro got army nigs and Dominicans hitting cheerleader routines for kickball. <laughs> the boondocks was something else, man. Nothing could convince Huey to play, though. Not even being blackmailed. <laughs> that is until he met me. These two men had an aura off. <laughs> Selling Goku, is that you? Stop ducking the smoke. I know you really do this shit. Let me beat your ass. That's gotta be racist. There's no way. You ain't talking about me. Plus, that backstory of yours? Weak as shit. Ming kicks the ball at Huey at light speed. But Huey jumps and actually kicks the ball in the air and catches that shit. Ugh! While staring Ming down. Dog. Your yeah, dog. Or was all your posing for an album cover? I'm, I'm gonna call this one Equal Rights, Equal Fights. Ugh. I'll play. But that's it. I'm just trying to play kickball. Don't make it weird. Okay, with Huey on the squad, they should have a super team now, right? Wrong. The Dominican kids had ice on their ass, and the soldiers got called into action, leaving Huey to make a team of his own. And man, did they give that boy scraps to fend off of. <laughs> Todd's gorilla face ass. Hunk bad back, corny headband ass. Why are you smirking so hard? 
you know you're sorry, right? <laughs> the grandma from SpongeBob, 8 Mile Eminem, Riley's Durr, neck ass. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forgot who this little girl is. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just skip past her. He got queso thick ass. And this Jeff Hardy Vendela built nigga. This just might be the worst squad ever assembled. And they still might beat the Pistons. Can we, let me be honest with you for a second. This is the most booty juice, piece of sh smelly, vile, trailer park trash, piss ant squad I've ever seen. Take it or leave it. <sighs> Fuckers. Eminem gets this little practice kick in talking his shit that gets caught by this absolute behemoth. Why is the great Khali playing cake ball? He's the size of four mings. If you don't get a 10 way somewhere in the league, bro out here kicking balls so hard they bringing down trees? It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> That's different, gang. This nigga ain't human. This game might get ugly. And just like that, it's finally game time as both teams face off. Both sides trying to give each other tough shit. But the Chinese fella says that the Great Kali is 12 years old. G -A -P. Cap. Zoo. We. Mama. <laughs> Did he mean he swallowed a 12 year old? Pause. If he's only 12 with a fully formed face, when that nigga's 21, he gonna be looking like Kaido. Bro really expects me to believe this dude behind him saying he got the birth certificate. I ain't trusting no hunchback, big lip man. Especially with his hands behind his back. I know he's capping his ass off. I can tell by that forehead wrinkle. Uh, but I'm getting off track. It's time for the game to begin. With Huey on the mound. Here we go! Ming's first up the bat. Huey unloads, and Ming wastes no time hitting that shit out of the park. Look at Huey's face. <laughs> He's sitting there like, am I washed? You blow ass, Huey. You should have stayed retired, little Nick. Next up, the bat is this old ass lady holding her aching back. She got one foot in the grave. <laughs> ain't no way she ain't an easy out. Oh, damn. No, 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 no. Run that back. Did this 96-year-old woman just bust out a corkscrew? Oh! This Chinese team is cracked. He was starting to get a little pissy, so my man turns up the heat, grabbing strike after strike. He finally putting together some rhythm. Then, the great Kali comes up to the plate. He puts some real oof into the kick, but damn! Instead of kicking a yard, he kicked it through Eminem. Bro flew back 50 feet and put a dent into a concrete wall. That's a sports center top 10 save, though. <laughs> His intestines probably down in his butt right now, but wait it. But hey, that's three out, so it's time for the switch up. And Huey's up the bat first. Ming pitches and Huey rattles up an easy double. Okay, let's start strong. Uh-oh. Riley is up the bat next, and he means business. Pointing to the sky, calling his shot. The energy is impeccable. Until his ass turns into Charlie Brown and misses the ball every time. <laughs> What's the NBA comparison for that? Nick Young had him do a full body rotation. <laughs> Get this guy a manual. What are you doing? Todd's up next, and I may have been on his neck earlier, but he came out with a heater. <laughs> All right, until he got caught celebrating too early and got his head beamed off. <laughs> Eyes damn near popped out the sockets. Bro's knees became inverted. <laughs> you got not the fuck out, man. Gramps is up next. And he puts his all into the kick. That goes four yards. <laughs> Look at this dude. He did not want to suffer the same result as Todd. He said, man, screw this, I'm out. Turns around, and Ming beams his ass anyway. <laughs> she said, respect my elders. That shit is dead. Take the CTE, bitch. The game just starts getting crazy. The great Kali out here trucking niggas like he running through the A-gap. Queso out here getting pelted with shoes? Jeff Hardy getting pieced up and jumped in front of home? Hell nah, bro. Bro was out here monkey jumping on him. This is wild. The ref don't give a damn either. <laughs> he got that Chinese payday. He said, give me my money. With all his teammates beaten, battered, bruised, and embarrassed, Huey realizes that he's got to stop holding back, and he's got to lock in. He comes up to the plate and wastes zero time hitting that shit 500 feet yard. That shit definitely went through somebody's windshield. <laughs> but okay, now we're cooking up. Three-run homer action? We got a game now! 
While the ref gets abducted like those girls in Split, Huey has a little talk with me. She says that if she doesn't win, she's gonna get sent to a prison camp for losers. Your own grandpa sending you there is preposterous, <laughs> but I digress, uh, different cultures maybe? <laughs> but hey, it's enough to make Huey waver. Got him out here giving up free base after free base. But of course, it was all a ruse. Did this nigga actually believe that? <laughs> he needs less hair and more brains. <laughs> I don't like being laughed at. My man Huey pulls out the self boot and he destroys that kid's face. Oh yeah. He had to have killed the kid. There's no way he could walk after that one. He did a whole 360. Almost knocked the last bit of hair off his scalp. <laughs> then he hits a little rainbow backflip kick and takes out the woman too. Oh, she's twitching. Huey's leg has got to be registered as a weapon. That's a body. You had to go to jail. Got this man about to soil himself as he's walking up to the plate. No one was coming up next. <laughs> oh, nah. Huey did not just jump 20 feet in the air for the self boot to gut check this old hag. He said, come fly with me, come fly with me, Huey Airline. Shit just hits the fan completely. Huey putting curve onto his kicks, old ladies getting beamed, Ty getting elbow from the top rope. It straight up goes from kickball to dodgeball in a matter of one inning. Both teams are cooked. The score is tied 8-8, with only Huey and Ming left. A showdown of an immovable object and an unstoppable force. Huey starts conjuring wind around the ball like he's an airbender. He throws it in the air and spin kicks it at Mach 12. I mean, the ball is literally on fire now. Ming, you're done. She kicks it but snaps her ankle in the process. And here we are, with Huey trying to catch a Kamehameha, breaking his wrist and the ball but ming isn't giving up she can't walk but job's not finished she can still crawl huey comes too and slowly wobbles towards her barely conscious he gets the final out securing the dub and cte and permanent internal bleeding in the process a match that will forever go down in kickball history I see they got the new new, the sexy Gojo. I mean, the clean ass Sakuna tee. They even got this dark and ominous, but clean Itadori shirt. And for those of y'all that like wearing rings or even necklaces, they got y'all right too. You can find all this and more at AnimeExpress.store. And when you check out, use code za 10 for 10% off. I-E, U-E, it's a win-win. Now go to AnimeExpress.store and use code za 10 for 10% off at checkout. Uh, smoking in my tank, girl. Slime him in my tank, yeah Off the shrooms, I see clear Sipping lean, I don't sip no bill I don't pop no more perks, I'm clear But I'm popping it perk for the one time Fucking this hoe, but I only do one time